In this video, I want to show you how you can build a simple UI using Squareline Studio and upload it to an ESP32 or any other capable microcontroller to use it on a display. I will use a round GC9A01 display as it is the one I was using for my project. I initially never intended to do tutorials on YouTube, but because it took me this long to figure everything out due to the lack of proper tutorials on the matter, I have decided to make an exception. Squareline Studio is a simple UI editor based on the LVGL graphics library that can auto-generate boilerplate code for you and makes UI creation a lot simpler in my opinion. First of all, download Squareline Studio from the link in the description. It's free for personal use, but you will need to create an account. Create a new project and choose Arduino as your platform. In my case, I will choose 240 by 240 pixels, a round display and 16 bits of color depth. This one took me a while to figure out, as I initially had a depth of 32 bits, which caused the display to just show white. Keep in mind that these settings may differ depending on the display you are using. Next, create your UI. In my case, I will just do the simple gorge consisting of two images. To keep things short, I did not include the design process, as you will probably want to design your own UI anyways. Once this is done, go to Export and click on Create Template Project. As destination, choose your Arduino folder, which is typically located in your documents. You can of course also choose any other destination, but I like to keep everything together. This will also set a path for your export, so every time you change something in your UI, you can just hit Export UI files and don't have to re-export the whole project together with libraries. In order for the code to work correctly with your chosen microcontroller, you will have to adjust some settings. Go to the folder you just exported, then to Libraries, and then to TFT underscore ESPI. There are two possible approaches to configure the library correctly. You can either open user underscore setup.h with a text editor of your choice, comment out the standard driver and select the driver you are using, in my case GC9A01, search for the correct pinout of your microcontroller and uncomment that section, or you can open user underscore setup underscore select dot h, comment out the standard user underscore setup dot h and search for the correct combination of your microcontroller and display. In my case, it's this line here that needs to be uncommented. In the folder user underscore setups, you can now search for the file name that you just uncommented and look at the standard configuration for the pins. In the case of this specific display that I'm using, the MISO pin is not needed, so I commented it out. The pin naming might differ from what is written on your display, but that's not a problem. MOSI is the same as SDA, and SCLK is the same as SCL. The rest should be named the same way. Here you can also see a wiring diagram of an ESP32 DevKit V1 in combination with the display. To interact with the UI, I also wired up a potentiometer as input. Now it's finally time to open your Arduino IDE. First of all, you will need to change your sketchbook location so that the libraries from Squareline Studio are imported correctly. For that, go to File, then Preferences and change the sketchbook location to the previously exported project folder. In your sketchbook, there should now only be one sketch visible called UI. Open the sketchbook up and you will see the auto-generated code from Squareline Studio that you can now add your own features to. In my case, I also removed the touch input function as my display does not support touch, but you can leave it in as well. To interact with the images we added in the UI, you will need the following code. Change the name to whatever you called your asset and put star UI underscore in front of it. Now we can change the rotation of the pointer in relation to the connected potentiometer. I hope this video was helpful to you. Some things may differ in your setup, but I'm confident that this example should be easy to expand on. 
The code will be available in a GitHub repository that you can find in the description below. See you in the next one.